Yes, exactly. I would recommend Suntech to sell away Southgate because uh, of the numbers that I uh, will be sharing later. Hi, my name is Minan. Uh, I'm a REITs investor who builds my parents' retirement portfolio with REITs. What I learned was uh, after the Suntech AGM, and this video is just based on the financing costs. So definitely you can see that the last quarter results, it was at 3.68. So there's one acronym called the one, market value two versus two is the purchase price. So in the first row, you will see that uh, I've listed down all the property use. Okay, because we are going to use the property use to go and determine which building is not not generating rev sufficient revenue to even cover its financing costs. In order to get the building, you need to get either you get pay the building by pure cash or you you're going to loan it, right? So that's why in the financing cost, it becomes a very key component when we want to assess our risk. You will see that uh, I've written down all the various buildings like the 177 Pacific Highway. Uh, you see 21 Harris. Next to it, there's a RG, which is a rent guarantee. For the property you of Southgate, that is the lowest out of all the Australian properties. Even if I to compare it to the UK, right? Nova is at 3.7 property you. Uh, you can see for the minister building, it's like 4.82. That is on the market value. But let's say we really want a much better appreciation. I'll base it on the purchase price. So you still see that Southgate is still at the lowest. Ah, but this round, there's something different. The Nova property, it has shrunk from 3.7 to 3.45. This is my entire process of how I determine whether, why I should sell away Southgate purely because of the property yield which is the amount of revenue you can extract from a building in my portfolio as compared to its financing cost because if the financing cost is more than property yield it doesn't make sense to hold on to the property and also something to take note is that uh, the last quarter results is also reaching its regulatory limit of 45% right now it's standing at 42.8 so that will mean that uh, they can't borrow anymore. If I have another opportunity to buy a building, Southgate is the first thing that I would really let go. So we have reached the end of the video, uh, but if you feel that you want to know what is the other lesson that are underestimated the most when learning about REITs, you can watch this video. If you like to know my core framework, especially in safeguarding my emotion, uh, investor emotions, I hope you can see these shots.